Shalom! And today is day 25 of Renewing Your Mind with Scripture. Today's scripture is um, a very encouraging one. It's Hebrews 12 verse 2. It says, Look to the princely leader and perfecter of our faith, Yeshua, who for the joy that was set before him endured the stake, having despised the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of Elohim. Yeshua had so much to have fear and anxiety about. Yes, he did cry and he did ask the Father to remove this cup from him if it's his will. But Yeshua endured all of that because he kept his eyes and his focus on the end game. What does Paul say? He says, run the race to the end. It's, yes, we're going to fall. We're going to scrape our knee. We're going to cry. We're going to sometimes go, why am I doing this? Um, But we've got to run the race to the end. It's about making it to the end. It doesn't matter how you look. It doesn't matter if you're first or last. But you've got to run it to the end. Yeshua kept his focus on the end, on what he, he, where he was going to be ending up. He's the hope and glory. We've got to keep our focus on the end game. Our reward is not in this world, but in the world to come, in the new Jerusalem. When we reign with Yeshua Messiah, and that's something beautiful to hope for. So no matter what your trial, no matter what your anxiety, fear, and distress that you're going through, you're not alone. We, as brothers and sisters, are here to stand with you. If you need prayer, if you need deliverance, if you need, we at Time to Seek Truth have healing rooms where we will pray with you, we will help you, we will counsel you. Contact me and and I will slot you in and we can help you. You do not have to fight this alone. If you've got any body ailments, doctors, yes, there's a place for a doctor. Don't get me wrong. But our Father wants to heal you. He wants to remove that pain and trauma that you are struggling with. You don't need to fight this alone. You've got to keep your focus, just like Yeshua did, on the end game. And no matter what the shame is that you're going through now, don't let that be your downfall. Don't let that define you. That is not you. It is a temporary situation that you are in. So keep your head up and let's keep our focus on the end game. Let's pray. Father, I look to Yeshua. I turn my mind toward the coming glory you have promised. Today, I purpose and declare that the present troubles I experience will not cloud my thoughts and my vision. These troubles are temporary. The glory awaiting me in your presence will be eternal. I accept your strength to live daily in the present while never losing sight of the future. Thank you for your amazing grace in Yeshua's name. Amen. May you be blessed and I'll see you tomorrow for day 26 of Renewing Your Mind. Shalom.